I'm uh, enrolled in the master's entry clinical nursing program at a UCLA School of Nursing, class of 2012. I actually was not aware of the Mekin program uh, until my sister, who is a UCLA School of Nursing BSN graduate, who just graduated this June, she told me about the program during the fall of 2009. This was uh, right after I had graduated and got my bachelor's in biology in the sp uh, spring of uh, 2009. And um, after hearing so many positive things about the relatively new program, when the Mekin program has only been around for about six, seven years, um, and see seeing that I had already completed most of the prereqs from my uh, biology degree, um, I decided to apply and give it a shot. And then um, I always wanted to attend UCLA, so I, you know, I said, why not? And that was, that's what led me to pursue the Mekin program. What made me choose to pursue my master's degree at UCLA was the excellence and prestige the school has been known for. So the, the School of Nursing here at UCLA is hands down one of the top nursing schools in the nation. And I, I, I just couldn't pass up on the opportunity, you know, to acquire, you know, this knowledge and the clinical skills that will allow me to uh, provide excellent care for those in need. Well, students can expect to be taught by instructors who are, are highly regarded amongst their clinical colleagues and also be taught by professors who are widely known for their great lecture speaking skills and the research they have generated to further the nursing profession. So you have a lot of uh, professors who do a lot of research and are um, really coming up with uh, um, research and helping uh, just evidence-based practice and emphasizing why we need evidence-based practice. So, yeah, we have some of the top professors in the nation, so, and you know, they're, they have a lot of knowledge, so you're going to be taught by the best. While the Mekin curriculum it is challenging, most of the faculty and staff are very understanding and help facilitate a nurturing atmosphere. Not just faculty, the students here, like, and it, it, was, it was a little intimidating first coming in uh, when I saw all these, these different students and there's students of all ages. You know, you got students just coming out of undergrad, students who had worked other jobs. It's a second career for a lot of people and they just have so much knowledge and wisdom, and, but it's really, they stress a non-competitive atmosphere, cause, and that's how nursing should be. It's uh, teamwork, collaborative, so we do a lot of group presentations, group assignments to kind of facilitate that um, um, teamwork atmosphere and collaborative atmosphere that nursing really needs, and that's integral to uh, nursing practice. Well, they've They've done some remodeling at the factory building, and uh, uh, the Dean Ladder's got a new conference room that I actually got to, we, had to, we got to have our men and nursing meeting at. They're improving the technology there to help facilitate learning. Um, and what I should mention along with that is uh, um, the donation. Uh, we had our first annual white coat ceremony uh, last year in December, and the school donated iPod touches to the BSN and uh, and the Mekin program, and before you, you know, sit here and ask, you know, why are they giving us iPod touches so we could, you know, listen to music in class? And it's, it's totally not for that. It's um, um, these handy devices were given to students to aid them during their clinical rotations. So now students are able to look up medication info, uh, evidence-based articles supporting practice being delivered, and as well as, uh, you know, taking NCLEX-style questions to, uh, to prep for our future boarding exams. So it just really, um, these devices have helped students make an easier transition into the clinical settings. I would say for maybe incoming stu students, what I realized is the way the program is, you start out and you're in the classroom setting and, you know, every student were so anxious about getting into the clinical setting. You know, you want to get our hands dirty, but the thing is, the school of nursing, they know what they're doing. Every nursing school is different. Some start start out right in the nursing, uh, in the clinicals, like first, second quarter, whereas UCLA, they have their their own way, and we kind of start uh, like in spring on our clinicals. So everyone's anxious. 
thing is just, you know, just enjoy the program and just do the best you can with, you know, how the program is set up. And I think the way they have it set up is uh, it's a good way to um, help us better transition into the clinical field. Luckily, we have good uh, um, learning hospitals we get to go to. So we really do learn a lot. And I've learned a lot so far just doing my uh, first two, three rotations of clinicals.